From the outside, there's nothing high-tech about the offices of Zero to Infinity. That's right. Uh, this is uh, actually a donut. But step inside, and it's immediately apparent this is no normal technology company. High-altitude test pods, spacesuits, and DIY electronics all part of an altogether new approach to getting objects into space. 75% of the cost of a rocket launch happens on the first 75 seconds as it's going up. If you re replace that altitude of these first 75 seconds with something else which is cheap and simple like a balloon, uh, you suddenly reduce uh, dramatically your cost and also your environmental impact. The company's already flown a number of test flights using high-altitude helium balloons. Their launch system uses these to lift a cluster of reusable ring rockets to an altitude of 20 kilometers. These then fire up using the near vacuum conditions to create pressure to feed liquid natural gas into the engines. If you compare it with um, the engine of an airplane, it's way more simpler. You don't have any moving part here. This is pretty simple and with uh, new technology like 3D printing you could do it in, in actually in two three pieces so very simple to integrate very simple to operate. The company says it's a system that can put a payload of up to 75 kilograms into orbit and it's likely to cost only a few million dollars around 10 times cheaper than the cost of a rocket launch. They're also looking at using the balloons for tourist trips. This is one of the prototype capsules that Zero to Infinity are developing to carry two people up to 40 kilometers above the Earth's surface. It's made out of carbon fiber and is going to be insulated and pressurized to protect the passengers from the extreme conditions you find on the edge of space. As satellite technology has become smaller and cheaper, the launch cost has remained one of the greatest barriers. Zero to Infinity hope their system will solve this within the next two years. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Barcelona.